So I found this this island seed while I was trying to do a speed run, and I thought it'd be kind of fun to make a survival series out of it. So this is the first episode, and we'll just see how it goes. Um, as you can see, I'm just mining these trees to get some wood. And, and then I just go in to explore the island a little bit, just to see what the island really looks like. Because when I was doing the speed runs, I wasn't really looking at the seed, I just saw the that it was an island. I was like, hmm, this would be cool to do something with, but I didn't really ever explore it. So I did a little bit of exploring, I just kind of ran around for a little bit. Then I was like, I should probably make a crafting table, start making some tools, and just get, you know, into the beginning of the game. So there was this cave here. I just went and got a little bit of stone, just three pieces, so I could make a nice stone pickaxe before I went to go mine some more, like, coal and iron and other more stone. So then I was like, what's, what's, what wonder was further down this cave? So I went, just, you know, made a few torches. Probably not enough, should have made more. But then there's a zombie. So this is the first, the first mob I kill in this, in this series. And I did found this really big cavern area. But at the current moment, there were zombies in there, and I was like, nah, I don't have any armor. I'm gonna get out so I don't die. Because when you keep dying, you just keep dying. So I just made some stone tools, stone axe, stone pickaxe, stone sword, and furnace to smelt up my iron. Replanted the tree that I had cut down for more wood. And I decided I should start farming. Just get get a few get a few um, wheat going, and then because I was basically starving at this point, I decided to go fish hunting. So I swing around, almost drowning myself to death a few times. Got a few fish. Uh, had a little bit of food, but you know, not a ton. After collecting fish for a while, I decided to start hunting mobs. You can see that creeper blew up the shoreline a little bit, but I don't really care. So I was originally going to make an iron chest plate because I had 8 pieces of iron, but then I decided that a shield is usually the better way to go, so I made a shield and uh, iron leggings. That way I had a shield and was able to protect myself better against things like skeletons. Now with a little bit of food, I continued on my mob killing quest. <laughs> Holding a few creepers here and there. And then I decided there, there's an enderman, and since I like killing endermen, because you know, I need one the grass block, because I just like how grass blocks look in my chests. So I decided to kill the enderman, which took a while because I had a stone sword. Once I got I got an ender pearl, so that was pretty exciting. It's not like I really needed it at this point in the game, but I just kept killing mobs. And at that point, when I died, I was really kind of disappointed. I was like, oh, this kind of sucks. But I decided, all right, let's just keep going. Go get my stuff. Continue as usual. That was the first, my first death, and not definitely not the last. So after correcting my stuff, it was um, back to mob killing. Not much, not much exciting there. Just killing some spiders, a few skeletons. Just getting some resources in order to be, you know, some more resources. Just, yeah. And then there was this, um, creep, I mean, this zombie with a iron sword. And if you drown, if a zombie drowns while it's holding something, it drops what it was holding. So I got a full, full health. Iron sword, and I was pretty happy about that. Then, since I had killed enough spiders, I was able to make myself a bed, and I'm pretty happy with that. 
set my respawn point, and then decided to go into the cave, see what was around, grab some more iron, because iron is useful. Continue mining iron because I just found some. I kind of was thinking I could build something in this area. It's like a nice looking area. And then because fuel is kind of a short commodity and I knew that kelp, kelp blocks were a good source, I decided to go collect a bit of kelp with some more fish while I was at it. Get some good food and some, some good fuel. And I got a lot of kelp. <laughs> and so I then started to smelt it down into the kelp rock. I mean, the dried kelp. And then, so nine dried kelp gets me one kelp. And since smokers cook kelp faster, since they're technically a food, I use a smoker to cook my kelp. And here is me making my first kelp block. That's not really exciting, it's just kind of a milestone-like thing that I was thinking. Then you put that back in, and using a kelp block, you're able to smelt 20 items. <laughs> now there's this, this drowned as a trident that I found while trying to collect food. And... That do a lot of damage. Like, four and a half hearts for a trident. So I kind of got yeeted. And that was kind of unfortunate. So I collected all my stuff and killed the drowned. I would have liked it if I had gotten that trident just as like a um, mem memorialia. Or whatever it is called. Like, put it in the chest and be like, this is the drowned that killed me. There's some chickens, so I decided to make a chicken hole and um, start amassing chickens. Back to more mob killing. Another creeper. Yeah, killed me some my third death at this point. And then there's this Enderman just kind of spamming around. To check out that was kind of funny because it was raining. Zipping around. I had done some renovations to my chicken hole and I got a few chickens, so I wanted to show that. Got the chickens, got some more baby chickens. And then I decided it was about time to go actual mining. I had built this hole earlier, but I just hadn't gone very far because I'd run out of torches. So I just started, you know, staircasing down. Amazing the torches just kept going down. Trying to get to 11 for diamonds. I found this little underwater cave thing. Not really sure why. But like, I decided to swim in it. I had no idea how far it was. I probably could have drowned. But it came out and I made it to the surface before, like, just as I started to take damage. Like, hmm, interesting. So I decided to go back down and maybe try the other way. So I said, turn left, turn right. Which. And you went into the water. That's that's the way I was have gone right left before, so I went decided to go right and see what was down farther. <laughs> and at this point I was like, oh I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna die. But then luckily I found this little cave. So I hopped into this cave. And it was like infested with zombies. And there's only like three of them. But that's like a lot. So after laying these zombies. I should go explore for this cave to see what it is. So I ran around the cave for a while. And then found some more zombies. So I thought they were going to kill me. I'm low on health. I need half health. Not terrible. But in this cave, I was able to find a good bit of iron. I was pretty happy with that, like, I think it was like 30 something, but I guess we'll see later. 
I think, I don't know if you noticed, but there's been some, like, the Quask sky has looked strange. It's just, like, a weird thing with my computer graphics or something. I don't really know how to fix it, but I just kind of got used to it, so hopefully it's not too annoying. And I was like, alright, I should probably go back, because I have a good amount of iron. If I decide to go back. Started swimming, and then I was like, wait, where's where's the hole to get out? So I was like looking for it, kind of stressed out, and there it is right there, but I didn't see it. So I just kind of just swimming all over the place, like in a mad fury to get somewhere, but I didn't quite make it anywhere. So I drowned, so I'll be fourth death. And then I went back to get my stuff, and I was like, okay, gotta go get, and there's another one of those like bug thingies. Not really a bug, but it's just like a visual glitch. Sorry about that. <laughs> so I could have swam out, but I decided to get my more stuff, and then once again, I was lost. I was like, where's my exit? No. That was kind of annoying. I thought I had found it, but then I hadn't, so that was sad. I was, and I was like, oh, there it is, right there. And I drowned just in the last. So then, I went and got it, and then I was like, yeah. After I found the actual hole, there it is. That was pretty. That was pretty nice. That I wasn't dead again. Cause I drowned a few times, which kind of sucked. I was able to escape the um, drowning area that I had to keep drowning in and able to get out with a good amount of iron. Just lop that iron into a furnace to be able to make armor and such. You know, whatever else I use iron for. It's more kelp. And kill another enderman. Or attempt to kill another enderman. So, so far I'd killed two Endermen and gotten two eyes, which was pretty rare. And so I installed this this pat resource pack that made there be micro heads for like blocks. So you're a trade with on your villagers for certain blocks. And if you killed mobs, it would give you certain heads. So like if I killed the trader llama, I could get like a llama. Head. And like that's a there's a really low percentage of that happening. But if you kill the wandering trader, it's a hundred percent chance to get ahead. So that so I, when I kill him, I get the head. There you go. You can see the little head. So it's just a, basically a mini head for the mobs. So I put it in the chest. And then I went exploring, found this, found a few treasure chests and chips, and then well, also collecting heads for like fish. So like cod is a ten percent chance to get ahead. There you see, I got one. Salmon is also a 10% chance. I found got some turtles. And then there's the rest of my heads. Thanks for watching. It really means a lot.